Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Divide and Conquer campaign as Darwinian. Yes, we are. Last time we fought the spiders of Dolgador and took Dolgador, and now we are marching on Barador. Now, I have already tried to play this battle, guys, and it did crash. So I'm hoping that it does not crash again. But what I'm going to do for safety is just withdraw from the battle. And he's going to come to a different battle map, just in case it was the battle map that was the problem there. And, uh, yeah, he's got an extra bit of a unit. Oh, a couple of units. Quite good ones, actually. Uh, so, just made life harder for ourselves there. But the main thing is the Great Beasts. We just want to defend against them. So, let's get into the battlefield. And, hopefully, we don't have a crash. Here we are, guys. And... Unfortunately, last time our battle map was absolutely fantastic. And uh, this time, it's not too bad, but it's not quite as good. A bit too open. Last time we had a funnel we could funnel the men into. So we're going to get all our uh, Speary boys in the middle. They're going to form the main line. We're also going to get you boys just behind to protect the lines as well. Uh, and we're going to get you there. You go one side to protect the flanks from the cavalry. You are going to be wherever the great beasts go. And we're going to get the archers ready to fire as well. The Avari Naharim will have a bit more space to run in this time. And the cav can go here. That is everyone, right? So I don't care about their reinforcements. What I care about is getting my men nicely spread out there. So let's get them there. Men of the Thorn. Let's get you boys straight behind. And let's get our archers up on this hill here. So they can fire over our men no matter what. Let's get the Veil of Darwinian boys. Let's get you there. And who else have we got? We've got you. Let's get you right up here. And then where are these boys? There they are. Nice. We'll get you in here for now. But as I say, it doesn't really matter too much. Where you go for now. Can anyone fire at them? I believe Athel here can. So you fire at the great beasts. You boys, let's just fire at, say, like... None of these units are too good. The halberds are probably the best ones they've got. So the bodyguard and the halberds will be the best shot for us. I mean, the archers, again, are a bit annoying, but that's fine. Right, let's get the Avari Naharim into the fight. We've got to be wary of that other army coming in because they do have cavalry with that army. And they've got cavalry with this one. So we do need to make sure we take out their cavalry as well. Uh, you're moving forward. You should be able to fire on the Great Beast now. So as long as you can fire on the Great Beast, that's all that matter. Looks like the Great Beasts are going to go down the left-hand flank. So what I want you to do is fire at the Great Beasts. Let's come over this way a bit more. Just make sure we don't get caught out and squished like we kind of did last time. So we are firing on them. Now you can fire on our men. Let's go. And they are targeting this Avari Spearman, which is very unfortunate because that is our best option against their archers. I don't know why they're waiting around so much. It just gives me more time. Okay, now, as soon as I say that, they uh, start running. Uh, we've not even bloodied any of the great beasts yet. So that is the main issue here. The rest of the army honestly shouldn't be too difficult mainly just those great beasts if we can get rid of them so all of you men should be able to fire on them now let's target them down uh we might need to go slightly wider with this stance here and get you boys there but i think we're all right okay they've gone for a bit of a charge on, on our men firing their i think they did the great beasts have arrows or javies i think it's javies isn't it so we want to get away from them but make sure you are firing at them still. They're getting a little bit damaged. Not hugely damaged. I remember our Isengard campaign. I believe we fought Great Beasts in that. Uh, when we uh, started taking Mordor. And uh, yeah. They were really hard to kill. Like, <laughs> obviously. They're Great Beasts, right? Uh, but here come the men. Or the Orcs, should I say. Now, you boys don't get you into fighting at all. That's, that's the main thing we don't want. We get you away. And we want you to be able to fire Javis at them. You're actually quite close to being able to fire Javis at them now. 
So now, fire your jabbies. And obviously, don't charge. That's the main thing. Do not charge. So they have charged my spearmen with their lancers. That's fine. Really quite good, actually. Yes, look at the javies go. Fire, fire, fire. And they're running amok already. That's what we like to see, boys. That's what we like to see. Can we get rid? Oh, they've, they've, they've charged my Avari Naharim. So let's go and save those. All the great beasts are dead now, boys. All of them are dead. So Avari Naharim, let's get out. And let's go save these boys from the Southrun Lancers. The Southrun Lancers in extended melee are actually not that good. Right. Now that we've uh, now that we've kind of sorted ourselves out a bit, let's get you into here and go and fight those Orc Raiders. And uh, these boys will just be able to do what they want, really. Uh, where have the spearmen gone? Gone for that fight, the Moran and Guard. So we fought the uh, those boys now. Right, let's get uh, straight in the back of the Southron Lancers. Looks like we are actually struggling quite a bit against the Southron Lancers. And they've just fired a volley as they charge in. This is really quite problematic because the cavalry is our best option of winning this. So we need to get back straight away. Get away from them if you can. Actually, you guys, you know, you should just keep on uh, annoying them, to be honest. Now... The other South Front Lancers is dead. That's that's the best thing. So get our men firing at them. See if we can break them a little bit. Because our cavalry is what really matters here. It's what we want to focus on. Looks like they're taking quite a bit of damage from the archers. Let's keep coming all the way over the hill. These guys surely are going to break these boys soon. Where is their general? Oh, he's over there. Get in there. Uh, you guys get in the fight as well. Looks like our front line is kind of uh, broken there. Fire your javies there, boys. This is actually going to be really tight. Only half the enemy force yeah, only half, but only not many of us. Right, kill them. So we are winning on this right-hand flank, it seems like. The Moriquendi Sentinels, of course, are always going to do a very good job. I mean, how have they not broken yet, these Orc Raiders? Let's keep going with the archers, though. They're really going to be the ones that matter here. And as, if we can just save our cavalry from dying completely... That'd be fantastic. We do have the Naharim, though, still. I want you to fire at the Uruk bodyguard as well. How many? Oh, they've only got five left. That's fantastic. That's what we like to see, boys. Right then, archers. I've got a new job for you. One of our units did get utterly ruined. But let's fire at the Uruk bodyguard. That Orc host is moving. So you boys, fire at the Moran and guard if you can. Let's get you on fire at will as well. Um, and you boys, let's get in there. There's only 14 of these poor boys left. Uh, but the Moriquendi Sentinels are standing strong. That's the main thing. Where is that Uruk bodyguard? Yeah, they are starting to lose slightly. Right, those boys have gone. Let's see if we can break this Orc band. Let's charge them in the back. All about morale. Okay, that's one of their generals. One of the uh, southern guys. You guys charge in the side as well. That's really going to help. Now, archers, let's go. Come on, let's fire at that bodyguard. Where is he? Then we'll break them all and we'll be fine. It's just a shame we can't really get very many um, very many uh, mercenaries around this region. Let's fire in there. I mean, the halberds are a very good unit. They've broken. Good. That's what we like to see. Now we're free to use these two units. So you guys get moving there. Where was the other one? It was you. Let's keep coming, though. Keep coming. Cavalry-wise, where are the Avari Naharim and what are they doing? They're just behind here. So I think we charge that Black Uruk Halberd with them. Let's go in there. And then these boys, let's try and get into the back of the Orc host. They shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's go for the charge. Where is that bodyguard then? Where is the bodyguard? Oh, he's only got three men left. Right, let's get out and around. We don't want to also get take a load of friendly fire. Get in there, my men. You guys get these boys. Let's go. And let's come round. Have we broken them as well? Okay, finally. That guy's dead as well. Good. Now the Avari. This should be the rest of it. Should be quite easy now. So let's get you boys. Let's all get you all into there, to be fair. They're all fleeing. Who's not fleeing then? Okay, how many did we kill? 
83. We've got to kill a few more of them. That was tighter than I was expecting, honestly. And we did kill the Great Beast very easily. Those, uh, those Elven Javi boys are insane. Insane against Great Beasts. You guys should really stop firing. You're just going to kill our own men. How many we killed now? Yeah, 96 should be enough for both armies, to be honest. Yeah, nice. Now we can march on Baradur. Here we are. And let's execute those boys. And finally, we can march on Baradur. Okay, Austin Gale. Um, <laughs> I don't think we beat this. <laughs> the only hope we can have, though, is if we do actually fight the battle, there is a chance. I believe that these cities are only rams. And there is a chance that their rams will get burnt. So let's actually go into the battle and try and do as much damage as we can to these boys. Let's see. Here we are. And unfortunately, it is one of those where a siege tower and a ladder will be used. Um, so we want to use you guys to the best of our abilities, which is down here. Let's, you know, we'll defend the walls then. There's no point not. Um, and let's see what we can do. It's not going to be much. If we can destroy the ram, though, that will really help. Or at least destroy one of the siege towers. Very much doubt we can if we don't hit the ram. <laughs> Definitely would help if you do hit the ram, my friends. You're very inaccurate, aren't you? But no, it looks very much like we haven't been able to do so. Uh, but at least we'll kill quite a good number. And Austin Gale is pointless, really. Uh, Dolgador is the prize we were after. And we've got another army on the way, haven't we? A very nice army commanded by Edwardin. And then another army as well. Uh, probably worth, at some point, getting an army down towards Baradur. But, yeah, it's not, not too bad. So, yeah, they're, they're probably going to go and take the city centre quite quickly. But we can just kind of defend the walls for a bit. Try and kill as many as we can. The Oryx Slayers are shredding our men. Over this side, though, it looks like we're winning against the Mirkwood Oryx. Uh, and I'd rather them not go for the town center and just come and try and fight us on the walls. Because, you know, it's a bit of a funnel then. A brash general. No. Not a brash general. Yeah, it looks like the Oryx Slayers are actually losing over here. Which is surprising. But doing an alright job. Killing plenty. You know, 34% of their army, which was wholly a lot bigger than ours. It's quite a lot, to be honest. But they're now firing up the walls at us, which is destroying our men. And now they're going to rout. So, eh, it's worth fighting this battle. Because if we'd auto-resolve, we would have just lost easily. But there we are. That's what... Uh, yeah, I mean, 464 is quite a good amount to kill, to be honest. So, I'm quite happy with that. But anyway, back onto the campaign map. Here we are. And Austin Gale has fallen. So that might mean Tostore comes under attack again. But now Tostore has walls. So they can't just walk in anymore. I think Dolgador is, is a bit... Um, we do have a lot of settlements between us and Dolgador now. But yeah, uh, Dolgador is a bit more of a, a troublesome enemy at the minute. Uh, they don't really have too much resistance anywhere else. So they can really just focus down on us. Oh, we do have a guy. Perth! Perth! Glorious Perth! A Weaponsmith Guild in Dolgador. That's absolutely something we want to take. Um, and like I say, we are still sieged down. Um, but yeah, it says extra wall defenses for that. But I don't think it will give us militia because we aren't Dolgador itself. Uh, so, yeah. I still think we win this. We just got to defend it well. And I think Dolgador is quite a good settlement to defend. So we will get our Dolgador battle. Would be nice if we could at, at some point get some mercenaries from outside the city. But unfortunately we can't right now. That is also a very good army. So let's go straight for Burr Southis with Edward in. With his absolutely unbelievably beastly army. We did have to leave Hross. Oh, Hross is over there. I thought we had to... Why do we have one less unit than we need or want. We're making an absolute fortune in cash now. Um, what do they have in here? Not much. Uh, I don't really want to risk auto-resolving that, though. 
Although, that army does need a full retrain. Now, there's Perth. I think Perth should go to Buralga. Uh, let's have a look at our good settlements, though. Like, like Varfest. Isn't there a guy going to Varfest? Oh, there's two guys in here. I remember that now. So, you'll go to Varfest. We've got a guy in Emmerhalf. We've got someone in Mataram. We've got someone in every single city around here, haven't we? I believe. El Gair, Rubar. So let's go through our cities, though, as well. Uh, apart from there. Apart from, uh, sorry, Naburka. Do we have... Yes, we've got LV boys available. That's fantastic. How about Karasant? Not quite. Santanui, we've got one available. Uh, anyone to retrain? Not quite. We're going to get the Vine Lord out on the battlefield very soon. Now, in terms of the army, we are actually very close to being able to get going. Uh, Cavalry-wise, we're a bit struggling with cavalry, though, so probably worth getting some more cavalry in there. So maybe... Yeah, we don't want the crossbowmen. They're, they're useless. Absolutely useless, my friends. Well, it looks like you can go to Alanin, my friend, because we we took the guy from Alanin to Rawberg, didn't we? So, yeah, to Storay as well. Great, uh, great little city. Uh, now that it's got walls, fantastic. Yes, uh, right, let's uh, let's make sure we're building everywhere. And also, I wanted to have a look at our victory conditions. Hold 30 regions. We only control 25 at the minute. Karasant, Mistrand, uh, which we have. Barador, which we don't have. And we've got to eliminate Mordor as well, which... Yeah, that <laughs> that's not happening anytime soon, I've got to say. So let's have a look. Let's get couple of everything just to make sure we can actually get into the city. Oh, they've got Olakai in there. They've also got the most ugliest orc I think I've ever seen. And that is saying something for an orc. God damn it, man. But it looks like this army very much will come and attack us. What is it? Great beasts again, man. How many great beasts do you need or want, my friend? Apparently a lot. Apparently a lot. You guys need to go and join them as reinforcements. We've got a merchant actually making a thousand gold a turn as well. Very nice. Right, let's uh, let's go through the uh, buildings. So, Karasant, what do we want to build here? Uh, there's not too much that's really that good. Vintner's Guildhouse. Oh, Vintner's Guildhouse, should I say. That looks like it'll make some cash. Let's have a look. Not a huge amount. An extra... Yeah, no, actually, quite quite a lot, to be honest. That's good. Santanui, then, as well. Uh, what do we want in here? I mean, if we're going to get a few more expensive buildings, like the mines and the winery and stuff now that we've got all the military buildings we want, let's make sure we get that Mason's Guild house in. Uh, Naburka over... Yeah, Naburka. I mean, the roads aren't going to make a difference... So, yeah, let's get the cheap sheep farming. Try and get that up to a new, uh, better level. Uh, building, 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 building. Uh, Mistran now isn't building, so let's see what we can build here. I think it's 100% time for the dockyard or the warehouse. So let's go for the warehouse. Lots of cash from that. Uh, Viltor. Uh, Viltor. I mean, you're a fine settlement. You're not amazing, but you're not bad either. Let's get the Great Hall so we get free upkeep on this guy. I think we need the Great Hall for that. Uh, let's keep coming down. Ilanin. Let's build that dockyard. Extra cash, because Ilanin's a bit richer now, but it's not exactly fantastic. To Sture, actually, those paved roads are going to be very helpful. But... With Tostore, let's get the military garrison, probably. Seven turns, though. Is it even going to be worth it for seven turns? I'm not sure. So let's get the Master Masons, uh, Master Masons Hall there. Uh, Tostore, there we are. Anyone else? Just Rawberg, which don't think it's even possible to build anything at Rawberg right now. Uh, yeah, that's building everywhere, and we've still got 76,000. Um, <laughs> uh... More troops! Anywhere we can buy more troops. I mean, we can buy more troops. Just not the troops we really want. But we might as well, you know, start fleshing out some of these armies. 
get a few more. Uh, actually, you get a cavalry would be better suited. And then let's also go to Avalon's Rest because at Avalon's Rest we can actually buy troops. So let's get some good ones. Not you, you're rubbish. Uh, yeah, and we can actually get some good, really good troops going soon. You guys need to move to Baradur to reinforce that army. Now, Kargakor is actually quite happy now, so I wonder whether we can actually leave with you. And the archers here are actually more useful than the spearmen, so let's see whether we can get you out. We can. Good. It's going to be a while before you can actually get to Baradur, but I'm, I am slightly scared that this army is going to come and attack us because... Looks a little bit scary, to be honest. And we don't have access to any more mercenaries. So, whatever the battle is, it's going to be very scrappy. Are there any armies on the way this way? No, but we might actually be able to take Baradur again. Uh, we're also going to be wary of the Dolgador massive army that's on the way. Right, do you know what? Let's auto-resolve this. 213. I mean, it's not too bad. We'll get to, we're going to go retrain this army now, aren't we? So... It's not horrendous. We'll take the lumber camp. We will delete the brawler's pit. The way station is fine as well. Carpenter's hut, fine. Barracks. I mean, we don't need the barracks, so let's get rid of it. Same with the wag breeder. Slave pit, we'll take. And let's uh, repair the rest. Then let's build that. Now, can we leave just with, say, the Ravanian swordsman? Spearmen, should I say? 70%. I'm willing to accept that. And we're going to go back to Santanwi. No way the great. Oh, hello. Captain Lugdash. You've got spiders as well. Uh, right. Let's just leave that for now. So we've got you there. We've got you there. We've got an army in Dolgador. So Dolgador-wise, how are we looking in terms of our culture? Not good. We need to build the culture building ASAP. Retrain all those boys. If they will get retrained. Probably not. Um, but yeah. Right, let's... Uh, oh, you as well. What are you doing? Honestly... Oh, you were for this army. So, let's get you there. Right, let's do this battle, guys. Let's uh, get onto the battlefield and kill some more spiders. They were quite annoying last time, but... Let's have another go at them. Here we are, guys. And, you know, this army is quite damaged, but it's also decent. Like, it's not bad. So we shouldn't have too much of a problem, especially with the uh, Privateer Axemen. They're a, a cheeky little, spicy little unit for us to use. Uh, we do have a couple of the Thorn Guardsmen. The Spiders are an issue, but with our Avari Naharim, I don't think they're going to be too bad. Let's uh, group you guys up. You guys can go behind. You can actually be on fire at will for this battle. And then Moriquendi Sentinels are, of course, absolutely beastly. Get our archers behind. Cavalry-wise, yeah, Privateer Cavalry. I think that's fine for the split on the Cavalry. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if we can poke them into action. I think we probably can if we get close enough. So, let's come up. Just start marching. They're charging down the hill, so maybe we don't need to go quite as far. Let's get, like, here. And then our archers. Let's get you there. Spearmen. Let's get you there. That's better. Everyone's back in the right position. Right, Avari Naharim, it's time to go for those spitters. The spitty boys. And uh, let's get you cavalry up here. I mean, these actual goblin headhunters are not bad. They're, they're quite a good unit, you know. So let's fire at them if we can. The Avari Naharim now starting to fire at them. Here come the Uruk Slayers. Where are the spitters? There they are. I think the spiders are their general as well. Heavy cavalry, that's what they counted as. So fire at the heavy cavalry then. Here they go. This is this is the big, the big uh, charge by them. But they're going to get shredded by Javis. I wonder how good the Javis are against them. So let's uh, let's keep firing at the Spitters. And let's speed it up. Because the Spitters will... They're going through all the other men. So we'll just hit other men as well. 
Uh, I, I don't know what they're doing. I think they think they've got, like, Archer Supremacy or something, which they don't. But anyway. <laughs> right, time to bait them. Come on, boys. Keep coming down the hill. That's what we like to see. Keep firing. Oh, no. Here go the spinners. Not the spinners. They're so quick as well. Look at them go. Look at them go. Go, 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 go. Get away from the spinners. Run from the spiders. <laughs> no. <laughs> go, go, go. Go, men. Go. Or elves, should I say. Go, elves. Go. Let's fight them. Looks like we're all right on the front lines, really. What the hell? What's happening over here? Oh, we're uh, moving. Don't need to be moving, do we? Defeat seems almost certain. Are you joking me, my sir? Those spiders are annoying, though, I've got to say. I want to hide. Yeah, I don't want the spiders in my cavalry. They seem to do really well against cavalry. So, kill them. Come on, men. Keep firing. Oh, actually, fire at the spiders. What are you doing, man? Go! Did I press... Yeah, I did actually press attack on them. Bad mistake. Uh, come on. Come on. Privateer cavalry. It's not the best use of you, is it? Right, let's get up there. Ready to go for the charge. Go, 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 go. Should be firing at the spitters still. They're taking a lot of damage. Oh, there he is. The Spider-Man. <laughs> Literally. Literally Spider-Man. Oh, there they go for the kill. They're going into the Privateer Axeman, which is actually probably the best person we want for that. Right, let's uh, focus on elsewhere and let's get into the Mirkwood Oryx. Let's give them a bit of a charge. Like I say, their general has died now, so it's not a problem. Keep firing, men. Keep firing. I don't care about the friendly fire on mercenaries, to be honest. <laughs> no, it sounds horrible, but I don't. That's not a charge and a half. That's a rubbish charge. But it has made them a bit, a bit scared. Right, back out, men. Back out, especially when they're turning. So, like I say, damaged army this, but it's, it's not too bad. Where are the spitters now? Okay, they've only got ten spitters left. So, let's go over here. The spider army. Let's go for the charge on him. I think we've got him, men. I think we've got him. Let's go after the Dolgador host. Oh, the Mercred Oryx are running. Let's kill, kill him, then. So we go for these Mirkwood Oryx. They're wavering as well. Come on, men. Let's go. How are we doing against the spiders? Six of them left. Good. Good, good, good. Right. These archers have taken a bit of a battering, I've got to say. Those Mirkwood Oryx are gone. Oh, they uh, they came back. They came back. Let's get into the Goblin Headhunters then. Right, men. Let's go. Go. Charge. Just charge anyone you can. Charge them all. Oryx Slayers here. Right, cavalry. Let's go into the Goblin Headhunters. Uh, all of you get after them. Have we killed all the spiders? Looks like we have. Time to go then. Or get into the Oryx Slayers, actually. Oh, they broke instantly. Nice. You guys up there. Kill them. How many have we killed then? 80%. We don't have too many left to kill. Let's just make sure we do kill them all. No point leaving a little rat of an army around, is there? An absolute rat army. Right, get there. Uh, yeah, some of you get them. Right, speed it up. Let's make sure we get above 85%. Oh, are we, we already are. Good. Nice. A nice little army just mopped up there for the boys. Right, back onto the campaign map. Here we are. And let's, of course... Execute the Orc Scam! Feel the Orc Scam! I can't believe they were just hiding there. Like, what are they doing, man? Right, back to Santan. We, we kind of don't want to recruit. Maybe... How long do these take? Yeah, let's not recruit them. I know the unit pulls at maximum, so it's a bit of a waste. Ah, uh, you know what? We can just replace the, uh, the uh, unit in there with another one. Great commander, Norway the Great. Collects defeated enemy banners, plus three troop morale. Oh, they love him. They absolutely love him. He's an absolute boyo. Fantastic. 
would be nice to get a general out here to build some watchtowers so we can actually see uh, Mordor or Dolgador coming. Uh, but it's fine. Right, we're on turn 100, guys. Fantastic. Nice. Really good. Uh, and we are very close to being able to start moving some of these men out. Honestly, we're one turn away. Is this a good army? I mean, it's a pretty good army. One turn away. It's these boys. Then we need to retrain everyone that we can. Uh, yeah, one turn away. So let's get... Although we do need to retrain them. So let's get everyone ready to go there. We've got our Admiral here. I don't think we need him, really. Uh, I mean... Yeah, we, we don't need these boats anymore. We'll keep one. We'll keep the Admiral uh, around for good service. To say thank you for his glorious service. And uh, let's press that end turn. Let's, let's tip it over then, shall we? Turn 101. And I, I'm fully expecting to be attacked by Mordor here at Barador, Where we have to fight more great beasts and Olakai. <laughs> Oh, Mordor now with the uh, with the non restrictions on recruitment early game just loves a bit of a great beast early on, but it's not early on anymore, is it? But they love recruiting great beasts. No, they they went somewhere else. But we do have the glorious defense of Dolgador. So if you were upset that we missed uh, the battle of Dolgador last time, and this is actually relatively good army to be honest for a Dolgador army. Um, then it is time to, uh, enjoy, enjoy a battle versus, uh, the Dolgador scam. Now, it would be very nice if this army had some proper, uh, pikemen, like the Moriquendi Sentinels. They could hold off a lot of this army for a very long time. Uh, but I think we just got to try and do as much damage as we can with our archers. And maybe get one of the Avari Naharim killed. Oh no, maybe a couple of the Thorn Riders killed, destroying their siege equipment. So, well, let's see what the battle map holds anyway, what it's like. Because I can't quite remember it. It's been a while since I played a battle on here. But let's see. I will see you in a second, guys. I'm just going to quick save. Can I quick save? But anyway, guys, I will see you in a second. So here we are, guys. And it is a very good very 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 good uh, battle map to be honest they don't have it doesn't have many towers that's the one problem with it like these buildings around here are not towers um and their army's setting up like over here so i'm guessing they're going to try and destroy that gate and these this gate doesn't have towers around it this gate does um but that's fine a load of their other ones are set up all the way down here which is cool. So, I think clearly the best thing to do is to set up... I mean, can we have archers up here? No, we can't. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Can't actually put them on the walls here, which is a bit annoying. Uh, but I think clearly, you know, best thing is to set up with our archers able to fire at them. So, let's, uh, let's get everyone in the center. Just squish them all in. And, yeah, I kind of want to limit them to being just on the gates, really. So let's have an archer there and an archer here. And what ideally they'll do is when they get in, which they will get in, guys, they will definitely get in, is fire at the enemy that is inside the city. And uh, we'll also get you guys there. Now, not too long and wide about there because I do want some defensive troops up on here maybe the foresters uh, and we'll also get maybe you there and you there and then we will so that's all the archers use the Avari Naharim I think can stay could probably get out of the city then we'll also probably use you as bait the rest of the cavalry you're going to be last resort now Who's going to defend the gates? Of course, it's these boys. And we're not going to defend it, like, right on the gate. What we're going to do is defend it here. And we'll set them up when we get going. Who else do we have then left? Got you. You can be last resort as well. 
Same as you, Vine Lord Swain. Let's get you there. And Avari Naharim, let's get you out. Same as you, my friend. And uh, these men should be ready to fight. Just don't want this siege tower to get to the walls, really. Same as the ladders. I, I would much rather my archers just be able to stand up here and just fire down on them. So, Avari Naharim, we're just going to run you around firing at people. That's fine. And then you guys, let's go after these ladders because they're going quite quick with the ladders. But those uh, those fires are not very good. So let's get you off fire at will. Same as you. You don't need to fire yet. These boys that have a bit of a better angle can fire. Go, 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 guys. Go. Much rather the ram gets to the gates, like I say, than the ladders. So let's get rid of these ladders. Or at least stop them from taking them to the gates. There we are. Good. And now let's attack the siege tower. Because again, we don't want the siege tower. They've got the whole army down here. It's going to take them forever to get up. I don't know what they're doing. We continue like this, we will smash the enemy. So we kind of have free reign to do what we want right now. Okay, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, running through the middle of the Oryx Slayers was probably not an idea that we could really uh, entertain too much. But here goes the first Ballista Fire. So I think that Siege Tower is going to die, honestly. But once they get to here, they're just going to start rushing up. So what I really want to do is get you guys here probably would be the best option when we actually get going. When they actually get to the gates. So yeah, we've sacrificed them. That's fine. I don't mind that. What are they firing at? Just the Dolgador host. Yeah. So the Avari Naharim are just out here just doing their own thing. Just kind of firing at whoever they want to. Let's get you far enough away so you don't do anything stupid. Uh, and now that they are in, you know, coming into the city, let's get you guys set up properly. And then let's get one of you guys up here to protect the archers. So you guys go... If you go there, we'll get these archers here as well. Can we stand against the other side? We can't. That's a bit annoying, to be honest. Uh, you guys can go there, around the tower. You guys can get out, actually. In fact, we probably want you, like, here, to be honest. Yeah, get you guys there. So that if they do get there and want to come and attack us, we'll be in a good position. Uh, yeah, these guys are to defend them. If they want to come up onto the walls and fight us, they're there to defend uh, defend them. Where are the Avari Naharim? That is the question. There they are. They're doing a fantastic job. Good. Now, what I should actually do is with the rest of the cavalry, get you out of the settlement to charge these guys in the back when we need it. There go the Javis, firing into the Uruk Slayers. That's what we like to see. So you guys, yeah, you're... In fact, you probably should just fight here. Fight to the death! Fight to the death! Right, where's the rest of the cav? Yeah, we need them to get out. Uh, and, like, the whole rest of their army is pretty much... Like a long way away, so we can actually afford a little bit of a, a little bit of a cheeky maneuver here. There they go, trying to fight these men. Right now that they're there, you guys can 100% fire now. You should be able to fire. These guys, you should be able to get some good shots off. Make sure all the archers are on uh, guard mode. So where are you, archers? You're there. You're also there, and you are... Uh, you're... Yeah, you're not quite in a good enough position to fire yet. So those archers, they should do enough damage to get rid of them. Now we've got all of these boys. How far away are the rest... Is the rest of the army? Okay, yeah, yeah. Not... Not very far away. That's the, that's the problem. So let's get our cavalry out of the way of them. Who are we getting attacked by? Oh, Kamul's Shadow Guard. Ooh. 
Well, I think we can deal with him if we can just get away from him for a little bit. Like ah, god damn. Kamul! Kamul the fool! But look at that. There's Mirkwood bodyguards as well. So, yeah, but the archers, they're the ones who have to do all the damage here, really. They're getting some good shots off these guys. Hopefully none of them are firing up, are they? There's still a couple. If we could move, maybe... None of, none of, those, none of those positions are what we want, boys. Maybe something like that. Then none of them would be firing upwards. Where is Kamul's Shadow Guard? Has he gone? He has gone. So we just got to kind of let all these guys get in. All the Goblin Headhunters to stop. And I believe that is the last of them down here. These Mirkwood Goblins. And then we'll go for a few charges in the back. Because they're going to be blobbed out to hell. Like so blobbed. If you could get your Javis off, that would be great. You can see the Archers really doing some good damage here. Uh, you guys, let's fire at Kamul's Shadow Knights. And Okay, have you guys moved? I mean, it's not much of a movement. But fine. So if anything, we kind of want them to come up to here, really, would be the best option. I don't mind if they try and get on the walls and start fighting. Um, so, yeah. I think we sacrifice these boys a little bit more just to buy us some more time. These Avari warriors. They can do a bit more damage to their hit points. And maybe uh, support these men because there's not many of them left. So we want them to come up to here so these guys can get a few better shots off. So let's halt you guys. Cavalry still out here. Looks like they might have all got in now. So yeah, let's, let's at least come around this way. And see what we can do about charging them in the back. And if we can get into the city and start charging them in the back, that's good. So, they've lost 31% already. That's decent. The, the Kamul Shadow Knights are really the, the, the problem here. So, let's, uh, let's put it on times two speed. Also, we want them to... If they come up here, they should be close enough to these towers. Because they are... Sure, they're towers. Yeah, the towers. But are they only on the front then? Yeah, it says building on the back. Maybe they're only on the front. So Dolgador's not as defensible as you would like. If you had a load of Javis up here, you'd be absolutely sorted, wouldn't you? Um, but yeah, a few of these guys already routing. Or, or trying to. Let's get over this side because we can't charge by that ram. And we'll try and do a few breakages. These guys, unfortunately, are just going to die. Let's speed it up a bit. Yes, a bit janky for the boys. A little bit janky. They're doing a good job, though. They are really sacrificing themselves. Thousands of years. Thousands of years of knowledge and life. All sacrificed to defend Dolgador. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, if they do get up here, this is, you know, last last stand up here, really. Uh, yeah, and we want them to come up. So let's... I think we should maybe get you on fire at will very soon. Oh, here come our cavalry. Absolutely having an absolute horrible... Whatever the hell that is. Look at them go! Trying to push in. Right, let's get back out then, men. Don't want you to... To waste too much. We need a... Uh, it's not worth it until, you know, we've killed them all. Uh, these guys... These guys are never going to be able to fire too well. So... If we can get the Moriquendi Sentinels around slightly. So... The cavalry... The cavalry is escaping. Let's go, men. Let's go. They're not going to do anything to you. Once we're out here, we can just wait for a bit. So, hoping we can get this blob back inside. I know it's a bit of a blobber of a battle, but it's fine. Uh, right then. If we could get you slightly up, and then we can get you guys slightly there, that'd be great. Speed that up. Okay, that's better. That's a lot better. We can actually now, probably, with all of you boys, start firing down into there. 
And these guys are still firing. You're not firing anymore. Maybe your unit has died that you were aiming at. So just into the middle, wherever. I mean, I'm going to turn you all on to uh, fire at will. Apart from you, maybe. You guys now, you're not quite in a good enough position. There's only a couple of these guys firing up and over, which is good. And the Mori Quenti Sentinels are fantastic. It is good to see just like, just to watch them die, to be honest. <laughs> it's quite an... In That's one of the generals. So now they're fighting. Now let's get on guard mode. Oh, oh, go, 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 go. What's happened, man? They're all running. Now we're here to mop them up, which is great. That's it. They didn't even... That was hardly a fight, bro. Maybe, uh... Who's not routing then? Just literally a goblin stalker unit. Well, that's weird. Uh, well, let's kill them all. That's... We didn't even use anywhere near all of our uh, ammo. Let's get it on times two. And just kill them all, man. Kill them all. How many have died? 89% it says. But let's mop them all up just for good measure. And now the uh, now the guys come. Oh, dearie me. Dearie me. Dearie me. Look at this orc killing field. We hardly even... We lost like two units. <laughs> well, that wasn't even really a fight. But anyway. <laughs> crook. Oh, well. You, you've had better days, Crook, haven't you? Vari Shadow's doing well. But anyway, that was it. That was... Yeah, that was surprisingly not too hard, and I thought it was going to be worse. But anyway, back to the campaign map, guys. And here we are. And of course, let's execute the scamp. Oh, so that's quite a lot of troops. I'm definitely going to retreat. See, that is their... Yeah, they've got the goblin striders and everything. We have one of our most elite armies we've ever had. But that is also one of the most elite armies they could ever have. Like the Castlands of Dolgador. That's a, that is a unit. Look at that. 1327. Don't think we've got anything that can really stand up to that. They've even got trolls in here as well. What's in the other armies? I mean, yeah, it's not, it's not, yeah, it's not scary, that one. Uh, Captain Tarzul? He can't fight in a night battle anyway. So let's All retreat. Back. And they're going after Tustore instead. Well, <laughs> well done, Dolgador. Some some supreme tactical moves there, my friend. Well done. Well done. I am proud of you. I never thought you would have such a supreme tactical mind to do such a thing. <laughs> what is that? What? Why? How? Why? How? When? Where? And which? Um... Varfest, whatever, take that, it's fine. Gorgoroth is besieged. Have laid siege to Barador, the Dark Tower. Now that Sauron's most important fortress is under siege, Middle-earth might begin to recover from the injuries he has already afflicted upon it. Though the forces of Mordor have been pushed back to their capital, the war is not yet over. Barador is no mere tower. It is a citadel, the likes of which has not been seen since Angband of old. It is rumoured that no living creature can enter or leave against the will of Sauron. Mori is also under siege. I mean, we'll see about that. They have Olaghai, like I say, which... But they've only got four units. we got a lot more units, just a lot more damaged units. Um, got Captain Zagmug, or whatever the hell he's called. Zumug. That's not really a fight I want to take, just because they've got great beasts. But we do need those reinforcements ASAP. And that's the problem. Do we try and... How far can you go? Let's try and outsmart them here. Get right into there. They can't actually reach us. And we can outmaneuver them around. You guys are going to do the same thing. Or depending on where they go, of course. Uh, and we did get some more troops there. We'll wait for the riders. And we've got only one more turn until the... Uh, Avari Barracks is done, and we can actually get some elves. Enmarth got the Apothecary. Right, we'll leave that for now. Let's see what the other messages are about. Faction announcements. 
Oh, we've got Odegav... Yes. We've got this guy. Fantastic. Um, right. Is anyone in Morn... Oh, we got guys in Mornothel as well. I forgot about that. Well, you're going to make the bases for the next army. Go up to Santanui for your retraining. Let's get you in there. Let's retrain them for their extra armor. And let's get these guys ready to go on the bridge. So we're going to have pretty much two armies very soon. I keep forgetting about Mornothel. <laughs> the home of our elves. But anyway. Ah, Mataram is ready to upgrade. Let's click that in there. Uh, Karasant is also ready to upgrade. Oh, well, we don't want to waste any more time waiting for that one. Definitely not when it takes five turns. We are the most advanced faction as well. We are in a very good position. Tostore is besieged. Where did that actual army go, though? That's the question. Got some more guys in Strondost as well. I think we wait for all of them to do, and then we're going to send them towards Baradur. Uh, yeah, Strondos, we also got people in Karasant. We're, we're, pretty, we're pumping out troops now, aren't we, really? Uh, for our armies. Yes, Norway, of course, needs to come back for retraining. Is it worth putting a watchtower there? No, absolutely not. Pointless. Why did I do that? But anyway, <laughs> Logoth hasn't rioted, which is definitely good. Where that big army has gone, though, is anyone's guess. Yes, but that draw-out battle is very tasty. Let's come through here, though. It's still there. But how? I'm gonna stick you. It's Lord, not... My Lord. Is it? Yes, my Lord. I don't think it's touching. We could actually get into Burr South this here and take a defense against these guys. Oh, God. Great moves. Great moves, Dolgador. You are really, truly showing how orcish you are. Uh, right. End my hearth down here. Actually in a safe position because of Varfest. Let's get the tomb in there. Carverad. We got the trader exchange. Yeah, Carverad is all Northmen. Um, well, let's start upgrading Carverad then. Let's get the Great Hall and let's start having another settlement where we can get elven troops. Lest... Let's go for the sheep farming. We're very close to being able to upgrade Lest as well. Varfest got the Thorn Armory. Oh my god. Varfest could actually be the Avari Barracks King. Look at this. But how good is... I mean, Northman, fine. We only need 50% for the Avari. That's fine. Uh, Logarth got repaired, of course. Is that it? Yep, that is actually it. Um, and we've still got 97,000. Uh, <laughs> I just don't know what to do with this money. Let's try and buy, like, Oibamari off these guys again. What is it you see? Give me Regent. I don't know, like... Fainer Bell's quite close, I think. Esthala? What about two regions? And I'll give you, like... I don't know, like... You're, you're a good faction, so you're not going to be at war with me, so... I'm not going to do anything with that money, so still very demanding. Um, like, I'll give you, I don't know, like 60,000? It nerfs us a little bit as well, doesn't it? Still very demanding. They want 43,000 for eight turns. And they want military access. I mean, I could completely game the system here and scam them out of it and just cancel the tribute. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be a good human counterpart to the AI today. Uh, and to be honest, they need they need all the help they can get fighting Mordor. Why have we got we got a spy here? Like you go around this way then. Don't think we need you there. Uh, we got all these three. Yeah, like I say, we're going to wait a turn. So we are starting to pump troops down towards Barador. So we have the Battle of Barador to do, and we've also got the Battle of Burr Southis. So either way, oh, here comes a Mordor army. Always nice to see. Yes, my lord. Uh, let's see if we can get some mercenaries. We can't. Let's build a watchtower here so that bit's seen. What do you have? Not a huge amount. But I think Norway deserves to be the one to break the Black Gate, to be honest. So when this army is done, that's going to give Vine Regent Harwin. We're going to send them against Dolgador because it's needed. Dolgador's just... Running rampant right now all over us just with absolute trash troops. That's the problem. 
Let's get retrain these boys while we can. I don't think it will actually do anything. But the militia garrison is going to be very useful. We've got 7% Northmen now. So we also need to get the barracks and everything in here. Not that it would help retrain any of these boys. Uh, but yeah. But anyway, guys, we've got a couple of battles to do next episode, haven't we? So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.